do you help your kids keep on top of their homework? Generally what I tell parents about helping their kids with homework is it should never be a conflict. Um, it should never cause any drama. Uh, homework is supposed to be basically revision. Uh, the concepts have already been taught at school. So the majority of the time the students should be comfortable with the work that they've given. I think the first thing with students with homework, especially um, at an early age, is start to set them up into a structure of um, when to do their homework and how best to do it. Ideally you should do a little bit every night but Children have huge um, after school things now, you know, they have um, football and, and music lessons etc. So they need to work around it and that's part of a life skill too, isn't it, working, um, organising your life. I suggest to, my, to the parents of my students that um, at an early age they find a time that suits the children um, so that they've come home and had a bit of time out bit of afternoon tea and then straight into their homework. If they have the same time every afternoon then they're aware of what's going to happen. It's a good idea also to set a timer because um, they know that after 10 or 20 or 30 minutes depending on the age of the child that when that timer goes if they've worked hard through that period they can go. I have a, a clear defined space where the kids know that it's homework time and it, it's calm time to concentrate. They'll need a space for that to happen. They'll need a quiet space where they can work independently. They'll also need their equipment. Everyone's busy but if there was 10 or 15 minutes of each afternoon to sit down and that's your time to see what's going on in your child's learning, I think that's a great opportunity to take and the more positive you can be about it, the better. You definitely as a parent don't have to be a subject expert to be able to help your child. Um, being interested in what they're learning about, asking what they're learning about will really help and consolidate the learning that they're doing in class. We really want kids to want to do homework, to want to read every night, um, to complete the tasks rather than punishing them for not doing homework. I've always said to parents, homework is about uh, developing independence. If you're going to sit there beside them in kindergarten every night and tell them exactly what to do and how to do it, you're still going to be doing that in year six. When we set projects, we really want to see what the students are able to do. There's no point for us receiving any work that's been done by anyone other than the student. Because the teacher might be thinking, homework's all, all great, I'm getting all this homework back at the end of the week. Little Betty's doing wonderfully, tick, 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 tick. But in fact, Mum might have been helping Betty a lot, so the teacher's not getting a good idea of what Betty's capable of doing at home. If the child's not able to understand the task, then we need to be able to address it in class. If it gets to Thursday night and your child is having a meltdown around homework, you need to determine straight away if it's a time management issue or if it's a content issue. It's never worth tears and it's never worth, worth building up a barrier against it. Best to write a note and say, we tried, we couldn't do it, can you spend a bit of time with this child to help them get over the hurdle? I always think that if it's going to be too much trouble for the family and too stressful, you need to come and speak to the classroom teacher and see what you can do about it. And each different teacher will have a different answer and a different way to approach it. And for more homework help, have a look at the fact sheets, glossaries and step-by-step -step videos for parents at schoolatoz.com.au.